Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the top eight of the Australian System Open here in Sydney, Australia. My co-host for this round is... Uh, Travis Foss again, joining Dion again. He's happy back, so it's good to be here. For this round, we have Matthew Colette versus Morgan Reed. The infamous. The infamous. <laughs> the Mor ghost. <laughs> so uh, Morgan Reed, a very well-known player out of, out of Australia, um, hasn't made it over to the States for a while. I know he was in 2016 Worlds. Uh, so he was runner-up in 2014 Worlds. Right, right. And then 2015 Worlds, he came again. And uh, I think he placed around th uh, 25th, I think. Cool. Um, yeah, so he did all right. But he took a fell desi and just burned into the ground. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and break down the lists. All right, uh, we'll start with uh, Morgan on my right. So we've got Colonel Jendon with uh, Jamming Beam and Director Krennic. Uh, two Inquisitors with Fire Control System and Concussion Missiles. And uh, Suntia Fell with Predator and Shield Upgrade, which I think is really big. Morgan's a big fan of that shield upgrade. Um, it does wonders for him. You know, you just, I mean, you just eat that crit out of nowhere. Yep. And he's like, that's all right. I don't mind. I got, got a shield got, for uh, Got a shield. Yeah, it's cool. I don't mind. So, uh, and yeah, really done, he's done really well. He was 5 and 1 yesterday in the Swiss. Um, uh, Suntir Fell, I believe, has got yeah, the. Yeah, Suntir Fell has the optimized prototype. Uh, that's why it is on the card, the token on the card. Yep. I think that upgrade is, uh, we were just talking about this before, that, that upgrade's going to be really key, I think, for Morgan this game. Yeah. That defender's got a wall of tokens, so I think it's going to be quite hard for the Inquisitors and stuff to plink down. Uh, and So yeah, I'll go ahead and take a second to talk about Director Krennic. So Director yeah. Krennic is a crew card that's currently on Colonel Jendon. Uh, costs four points, it adds a target lock action to the yeah. shuttle, which nice. can be helpful. Um, and it says... During setup, before placing forces, assign the optimized prototype condition, which of course is going uh, to a friendly ship, which is on Suntir Fell. The optimized prototype, which now this is, this ability is attached to Suntir, says while you perform a front arc a primary attack against a ship locked by a friendly ship with the director Krennic upgrade. So again, let's stop there. That means that Jendin has to have a target lock on somebody. Jendin does have a target lock on somebody. Right there. Right, right in the beginning. Use the ability uh, of Jendin. All friendly ships can take target locks outside of range three. Yep. And he set it up already. Let's continue reading the ability of the optimized prototype. So this is when firing that primary. You may spend one hit, crit, or focus result. If you do, choose one. The defender loses one shield or the defender flips one of its face-down damage cards. So Matthew's list, like you were saying, Travis, is extremely defensive. Like, that's yeah. what it's built on. Yep. This is a way for Suntir to get shots and do damage. Yeah. Right? And there's a lot of shields here. If he gets all four of those shields off using something like the optimized prototype, you've already scored 44 points yeah, right there. Yeah, straight away. And then, uh, again, the Sigmas, if they lose their shields, they're only one away from half. Yep. Uh, I think Suntir is going to be one of the most important pieces in Morgan's list in this matchup. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're going to see... Um, we'll just we'll get into Matthew's list in a sec. I think you're going to see Fell come around. And he's not really going to try to engage the Phantoms. I think he's just going to sit there and he's just going to work work that shield down. Let's get it down to half points on Rexlar. So he's setting up his end game basically for the end. He's assuming that it's probably going to get to Fell v Rexlar and using dodging arcs and, you know, token stacking and stuff. He's just going to hang back, get to half points, and just stay in front, pretty much. So, Yep. Um, now yeah. let's go ahead and hit Matthew's list. So Matthew brought Rexler Brath with Juke and Jamming Beam and two Sigma Squadron Aces. Those are the initiative for Phantoms with Juke. Now, in setup, you did see Matthew. He was very precise with the placement of this rock. He made it so that no rock could be placed on the inside there, which means that these phantoms have the ability to stay in this corner and just continue, continue just kind of doing this pattern yeah. over and over again if they want to and as needed. Agreed. Yeah, definitely. He's not going to commit unless he unless he has to, or it's favorable for him. I think. Yep. Um, Morgan firmly, I think, just going down this board edge. I think he realizes that he's not wanting to leave this area. Yep. So I think you're just going to see Morgan just slowly work his way up, and he's going to turn in. He's going to come this way. Oh, no. All right, two bank. Not, not interested. He's going down the guts. He's <laughs> just going to go like this. <laughs> All roads lead to Rexlar, basically. 
I think Morgan knows if he can get it down to Fell v1, then he's going to be in front, I think. Now, I want to remind you guys, we do have your Choose Your Champion poll on the screen. It's very easy to participate. If you're in the Twitch chat, all you got to do is type one or two. If you're on a mobile device, very easy to access the chat. Just open up the chat window. looks like a little uh, text box with a line in it. Uh, or if you're on your computer, you got the, the chat box right there. All you got to do is type one or two to participate. Choose your champion. One is a vote for the player on the left, which is Matthew with the defender, double phantom. And two is a vote for Morgan Reed with his double inquisitor, Sunterfell, and Colonel Jenden List. Yep. And what's our Rexler's ability? So Rexler's ability is matters mostly once those uh, once damage actually starts hitting somebody. Yep. So it says, after you perform an attack that hits, if you are evading, which Rexler almost always will be, that's after they do three or four, they get an evade, or three yep. to five, excuse me, um, you expose one of the defender's damage cards. Now, to be clear, this means that if Rexler attacks somebody, deals a damage, then after the damage has been dealt, that card will be flipped up. Yep. Okay? Absolutely. It's really, really important and can cause some havoc, uh, I think especially with these Inquisitors. <laughs> <laughs> you end up sneaking in a dam double damage here and there. You're just yeah, popping that'll chips. that would be brutal. That would be brutal. Yeah, I think that would be upsetting for Morgan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he, oh, yeah. He would not be impressed. But I think it's a really great ability. It's nice to see Rexlar getting some play. He was pretty much non-existent in 1.0. Yep. Um, but very prominent, I think. Uh, I, I don't know about, like, America, but in the Australian meta, like, he's very popular. I mean, he... He pops up once in a while, but most of the time it's uh, we're not actually seeing defenders in America almost at all. Oh, really? Once in a while they pop up, but it's very rare. If if one pops up, it's usually Rexler. Yeah, okay. I see very popular in Australia was like Fell, Double Defender. Mm -hmm. yeah, you just get these little initiative one guys just flying around the board, tokened up, just rolling dice, and then Fell doing Fell things. I'm not sure if that fits anymore. Um but yeah, defenders are quite popular, I think, in Australia. And again, like I think efficient ships tend to be very popular in Australia. Then we're not as um, heavy on the spam archetype. You know, we don't tend to guys will net list, but they usually tend to tweak it a little bit or that kind of stuff. So these Inquisitors have been very popular this weekend. Mm -hmm. Crazy popular. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, before we go too far, I do need to tell you guys that these rounds are brought to you by Curled Paw Creatives. Use coupon code WORLDTOUR2019 for 20% off. No minimums. You're home for your acrylic game token needs. If you need the link to Curled Paw, District Foundry, or the Challenge Bracket, which has all of the matchups that have happened so far and will be coming forward, type exclamation point A-U-S. Lots of cool commands in there. To yeah. find. There's actually some hidden ones. If you want to you play some games, there's actually some, some hidden ones, some fun ones in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. little cherry out there for people to get onto. Absolutely. All right. This is going to be cool. So they're setting up their engagement here. So Matt not really sitting in the corner. Um, he's sort of still keeping Rexlar up here. Um, yeah, with with his position, he really can he can go whatever way he wants, right? Yeah. With the decloak, he can end up, you know, basically stationed in this area. Now, he has, cu he's, has cut off going in here and turning with the yellow one. Yep. So you're pretty sure that's not going to happen. Um, but you could maybe come f come over that rock if you go forward. I think it's interesting that he's left this guy as the closest point of reference to Morgan. Because Morgan's turn one, he has committed with these little bad boys the here. The target locks. Yep. He's committed to going for this guy. So, you know, like sort of... I. You would think Matt would sort of make it a little bit harder for Morgan to work for that. Yep. Um, maybe sub out, like do a bit of a, do a bit of a, Kansas City shuffle, with these. You know, make <laughs> hold out your left hand and then go with your right. So a bit of a swap on the Phantoms, just to make Morgan just work a little bit harder for that. Um, that Phantom he wants to get. People in the chat are asking why is there no number pink? Oh, they know the Australians know the the. The, the lore behind number pink. They understand. Um, it's just Morgan already had red and white on there. And then Morgan went, no number pink in this game, I think. And I was like, <laughs> I was like okay. 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 So nobody, no advantage. Says this it in is a commanding voice where you're like, 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to fight. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got his very painted, like he's got his painted Inquisitors with the uh, Imperial symbol on the, on the sides there. Yeah. So very nice. Just matchy. Matchy, matchy. So the decloaks uh a little bit aggressive there. Decloaking forward on this uh, green guy. Scum and Villainy podcast. If Hang on. Whoa, whoa. whoa, I think whoa. They, what happened? I think, yeah, they just switched the target locks over by accident. There we go. We're fine. This is fine. It's all cool. It's cool, 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 cool. So, Dion, my friend's asking if you quit your job and are doing this full time. Uh, this is not my full time job. Uh, this is ju this is my fun my fun job. It is so a job. If you want to make it his full time job, don't forget <laughs> to hit that dono button. <laughs> Look after our boy here. Truth. <laughs> Would you do it as a full time job? I I thought about it. It's really not enough events worldwide, really. Yeah, you I mean something like every three weekends out of four, I think. Yeah. And, it's about two out of four. I can do. I can do. If I do uh, two a month, it would be okay. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty lucrative. I need to get involved in this business. <laughs> but obviously, you spend years right. cultivating a viewer base, right. and it's not as easy as people think. You can't just switch on Twitch, put X Wing on the table, and think you're going to get all these viewers. Right. You know, we we're just talking about before the evolution of your streaming equipment and how much you've invested into it and mm -hmm. the time you put into it. I mean, just look at this weekend alone. 60 hours <laughs> of X-Wing being streamed, like 14,000, I want to say kilometers, but I know most people aren't going to understand that's fine, that. That's fine. You, you, give, so you give them the KM. It's fine. We're just going to say a large distance. I'm good. I have water. Can I get a Pepsi? Yeah. Huh? No, no I, got, I have water. I'm good. I appreciate it. I, I don't want to be wasteful. <laughs> Django Foss looking after us. So Django actually inherited another Foss this weekend. He did. Alex Watkins. The, That's uh, right. The Lost Foss. The Lost Foss, basically. Uh, looks very similar to Jaren and me. <laughs> Crazy similar. All right, Am so I a triplet and didn't know it? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Phantoms are moving in on the Lambda. Now, the Lambda's job is to soak up shots and try to try to put in some punch when he can. Yep. Morgan doesn't want to lose it too early before he's had a couple rounds with Fell, though, on this Rexlar. Right. Because if he loses the Phantom, he loses the target lock, loses the condition. So, um, be interesting. I can just see these Inquisitors, just a quick sneaky little one bank there. This guy, possibly two forward or even a one bank here. He's basically just trying to get this to overlap on this on one, guy. Yep, absolutely. Sorry. You're good. I don't apologize. No reason to apologize. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. He's <laughs> on his stuff. <laughs> All right. So I don't think Morgan was expecting the aggressive uh, decloaks here. Now keeping yellow back. But, but he, he kind of went, uh, you know, one one foot on each pond, right? He, got, he went less aggressive and then more aggressive. Very aggressive. Kind of went 50-50 and see what he got. So he's going to boost with Fell. And focus boost. So with the rock, four, five dice, probably pretty safe. He's just literally looking for a picture. Yep, to get a shield. So he doesn't care about how many dice he's rolling. <laughs> I love the nonchalantness. You guys can't hear the table. He's like, three and a rock? Yeah. It's fine. Whatever. I don't <laughs> care. Yep, doesn't care. And spends the focus. Spend that's that. a shield? Yep. So that's all Morgan really cares about here. It's got one hit coming against five agility. Should be fine. Five blanks. <laughs> that would be bad. I mean, I've, we've seen it. <laughs> we've seen it. Yeah, that's the thing. Like it's not. <laughs> that would be funny. Let me know in the chat if you if you've seen the five blank out to five. There was a five blank out to five blank out heroic, <laughs> back to back. <laughs> Somebody could do the uh, Gator Storms and tell us the odds of that. <laughs> It'd be fairly low. So he's having another shot back at fell down range here again. Five v five. That's so going to be three. He's going to spend it. He's going to pump it up. So Morgan... Might plink the shield. Might plink the shield. And does. Juke. How come... Oh, you must be shooting the jamming beam here. Oh, no. He must be shooting the... Um, must be shooting the oh, shuttle. He must have had ranged. Okay. Yeah. So just losing one shield. So dodge one, reinforce... So Morgan making that shuttle very hard for him to capitalize on. Yeah. There you go. That's the odds of five blanks into five blanks. 
Beautiful. Well, we saw it. It happened. <laughs> i got a more difficult scenario for you. What's the odds of Finn rolling? All right, here's the Phantom going into to Jenden. So he takes one. Thanks, Dad. So he takes one. Again, that reinforces doing work. Yep. Just doing work. One more of Anthem coming in. Range and one. Three. So this could hurt. So it doesn't matter what Rorgan rolls. He's going to take two. Shields are down. So he's done quite well there, Morgan. Just walk away with shields down. Because the shuttle's now in position to... Is this in position to block? Yeah. Get shots on Rexler. And also just have a an exit trajectory to make sure it stays alive. And keep that optimized prototype going. Yep. I agree. So the shuttle's going to go range one back at this Phantom, I think. Yeah, there's no reason not yeah, to. I think it's... Just the Phantom. Oh, just the shuttle, sorry. Four dice. That seems good. Wow. Four hits. So he's taking two damage. He's taking two damage here. That's actually very big. Will for he Morgan. force him to spend the evade? Wow. Holy so he's dealt that's half. half. That is huge. That is very big. So Eesh. I felt like Matt had the better play that round with the aggressive uh, decloaks and move ups but it actually hasn't worked out for him so spending the evade that is half two shields and, and a hull, a hull on, on uh, green. green I think I can see the smile on Morgan's face from here about 30-40 <laughs> meters away so Morgan currently consoling his opponent oh yeah that's terrible yeah, yeah that sucks <laughs> as, as, yeah. He, as he applies the boot <laughs> <laughs> I really feel for Matthew. I, I, no, yeah, that's Morgan's a good friend of mine, but I really think Matt, the, the aggressive play there, did quite well um, to, to go for that. Um, All that right. Hard. Now, as the players get ready to set dials for the next round, uh, a couple of things are happening. We actually have uh, some cool giveaways. We have some special dice bags that have been given to me here in Australia to give away. Also, we're going to be doing, at the end of the final, we're going to be doing some new patron exclusive giveaways for uh, for new patrons. That's the Plastic Poe doing some giveaways for those. Oy. I have six of them. Wow. If we have only new, six new people, then everyone, yeah, uh, all everyone's of them get a winner. them. You know, if there's ten, then you got actually a really high chance. And those are the last six I have. Oh, That's awesome. it. Awesome. Like, once they're gone, they're gone. Wow. Uh, yeah, so super excited about that. We're also going to be giving away a painted ship at the end. The B-Wing, very nice. Uh, yes, Clinton. yes, we got that B-Wing. So lots of cool stuff. Yep. So thank you guys for that. And just remember, reminder, if you haven't hit it already, hit that Twitch Prime every 30 days. You can connect your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, and you literally give me Amazon's money for free. doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just Amazon supporting their, uh, the, content, their content on Twitch. It's interesting. Amazon Prime is probably not as popular like in Australia because... I think we only got Amazon for, like, last year, I think. Okay. So they put the first store out here. So I think it's starting to come up again. Yeah. Um, so I think you start to get a bit more donor, uh, like, Twitch Prime people worldwide, I think, so. Yeah. It should, hopefully. Yeah. It should come <laughs> along. Exclamation point Prime if you want to see the video, because they don't make it easy to give away free money. I'll no, tell you no, that. No, no, no. So there's a, there's a couple of steps. Only takes about three minutes. Exclamation point Prime if you need the, uh, the video, the yep. instructional video on how to get it done. Yep. So where where are these Inquisitors going to go? So uh, Matt probably looking to keep distance with this guy. So I think Morgan's going to realize that. This guy's probably just going to do the old classic roll out and then one bank in. So he's going to keep the pressure on the shuttle with that guy. Uh, this guy, uh, Green's in trouble. You know, I mean, the shuttle's got a very easy one bank block. It's probably... Does he K-turn? Uh, possibly. I'm not sure. For the Inquisitors. Sorry, I'm just no, you're sitting good. here. <laughs> I think just a simple one bank. And even with this guy, a one bank in, interestingly, with this guy. And I think you might actually see Morgan switch the target locks to this guy to solidify that, that um, ship, just to remove it. Because he's still going to have the force token for modifiers, three dice with the concussion, missiles... Uh, I think you, that's what you'll see, Morgan. Look for maximum damage. Remove any... Uh, removing any doubt out of it, I guess you could say. By just rolling maximum hits. That's what he's going to be looking for. Target lock force, three hits. 
pushing the damage through into green and probably trying to take him off the table, I'd say, this round. Absolutely. Somebody in the chat saying, uh, I see that the commander level is full. Will that ever open up? I actually forgot to open it up. So I close it when uh, when I've ordered like the, all the number of stuff I need yeah. for everybody. I close it so that I don't accidentally, like, like oh, like 100 people all of a sudden <laughs> flooded it oh, and God. I don't have enough stuff. Yep. I forgot to open it up again. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, that top commander tier so you can get it. Guaranteed, get all three of those plastics that are uh, are coming. Edit. But if you want to have 100 people sign up to Commander, go for it. <laughs> That's right. cool. It's open now. <laughs> open Slather. Saved. I think you'll see Fel. Uh, you're probably assuming a three bank off Rexlar here. Fell maybe a hard turn in. Possibly. So here's that decloak out. Probably a one bank off this guy. Yeah, I'm getting pretty good at aiming this thing. Yeah. Uh, Pro, I'm going to start bringing, bringing you on the road. Let's bring my finger around. <laughs> Actually, leave my finger on my body. I <laughs> Correct. I want to keep it. <laughs> so Morgan just trying to block this hard turn. Mm -hmm. uh, he's probably just going to rein uh, jamming. So Jam. he's really committing to this increase. No evade. That's 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 what that is that's because big. if he does get an action this turn by doing something like a one bank, yeah, there is no token there. It's not happening. It's not happening. So here's that one bank on the Inquisitors. Morgan using his uh, brand new Bigs templates. If you notice on Morgan's side, there's not much acrylic. Uh, I can tell you now, 1.9. Morgan had more. He had like the Chamber of Secrets <laughs> at Harry Potter worth of acrylic. So he's actually started again in 2.0 and he's rebuilding his collection from scratch. Yeah. So he's got his new Bigs templates on the table. Um, they're really nice. Yeah. Uh, yes. And Adam Kempers, I do see you reminding me. I did already tell a few of the players to make sure to clear coat those uh, those templates. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's highly suggested because the it's like an overlay. Uh, it just wears it? away, doesn't it? It wears away, yeah. Oh, that's My one straight starting to look rough. Worse for wear? Yeah. Like one of those old cardboard ones? Yeah, you exactly. see those players pull one of these cardboard templates it's out? It's like white white <laughs> and you're like uh oh this guy's been playing for a while so here's morgan switching uh a target lock there from number one num the white inquisitor so he's committing to this guy here so there's that one bank on that inquisitor oh sorry the uh the inquisitor the uh sigma we'll see what green's doing so green all right, trying so he to was, get out of dodge. He was he wasn't going to get an action anyway. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was the hard. I'm trying to get out. So, but here's the thing that hap that happens. He's going to lose the evade token. Normally, you would get it here because of full throttle, because all it is is ex fully oh, executing no, this a is maneuver. Oh no, the the phantom. Oh, it's a fa sorry. Sorry. I'm thinking phantom. Thinking phantom, defenders. Phantom. No, no, it's all right. Bit of a risky play though, because he's going to take a damage. So he's down to one. He's down to one, and. You know, really, you could have just K-turned and just gone, you know what, I know this guy's going to die, but I'm going to try and remove the shuttle so Rexlar can survive to the end. So Rexlar going a large move forward. So, yeah, like Morgan might get caught out here. Unless his spidey senses have tingled. I had kind of had him pegged for maybe a too hard turn in. Mm -hmm. It fell. Pretty much with Fell's moves are uh, too hard to force straight, right? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. That's, that's all there is. Maybe two bank every now and then. <laughs> okay, so the rollout. So he's trying to block. Well, here's, this is interesting. Interesting. If he did do the too hard, and now he's that's going to clear. That's going to clear. That's going to clear. He'll get a shot into yellow. Yeah, I think what you'll see is if he does do the too hard, he'll. Oh. Yeah, he's marking him up. So there's that hard turn. Yep. Almost as if Morgan trained me how to play this game. <laughs> I'm in his mind. So I think you'll see here is um, probably a f evade and a boost. Proc the bullseye, get the predator, get the two tokens, and try and force damage on the next guy. It's a bit of an unfortunate of uh, barrel roll, I think. Then yeah, I think he was actually in quite a good position. He could have sat here with the Rexlar and then come in on the Inquisitors the following turn. Yeah, that would have been a good block. You can still do that. It hurts. It always hurts when you were you're in a spot that was blocking and you do <laughs> a reposition <laughs> to block and you miss it. You're like, oh, it's upsetting. Oh man, it's upsetting. Yeah, the barrel roll. Um, yeah, like Matt's probably got a longer plan on his mind. I lost the game in Euros because of that. Oh, did you? Yeah. I'm oh. so